Hello everyone, my name is Jeanne and I am here to talk to you guys about the three new fragrances that Steven from Red Alessence launched with Novatis Parfums. Thank you so much Steven for reaching out to me and allowing me to try these fragrances out. I was so excited when I saw your video about these fragrances and I'm just extremely grateful that you want me to test out your fragrances. You guys, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. I'm going to briefly talk about them all. I've gotten a chance to wear every single one of them. Some I wore longer than others others but I do have a pretty good idea about each one of the fragrances because I love smelling good I love fragrances and I do have a channel of my own if you guys want to check me out my name is Jeanne Antoinette here on YouTube so without further ado I'm going to start off with the fragrance that I wore today and the first fragrance I'm gonna talk to you guys about is away and he gave me a nice little sample so I was able to try it out now what I will tell you guys is that this scent took me by surprise. I had no clue that I was gonna like this fragrance as much as I do. I'm not the type of person that enjoys more fresh scents, but this fragrance right here, it's not just your regular regular fresh scent. This has a note of coconut in it, and you guys, you totally get that coconut. Oh my goodness. So this fragrance opens up very citrusy, very zesty. So I find that the yuzu along with that grapefruit kind of makes the opening just a smidge more masculine, but this scent is not a masculine scent. I find that women and men can wear this a like. However, I also get that coconut in the opening. It really tones the opening down with those citruses with the coconut because the coconut adds this sweet, creamy coconut nuance. And I believe the mid has some geranium which adds this earthy, rosy, slightly herbaceous quality to the scent. And I believe that this also has some lavender and some sandalwood. So along with that coconut adding that creamy sweetness to the fragrance, the sandalwood also adds some creaminess. And then the lavender kind of adds this like soothing vibe I really like this fragrance a lot and then once the fragrance starts to dry down you get some musk you get some tonka beans you also get a little bit of incense and some vetiver so on my skin vetiver typically jumps out but with this fragrance I didn't get much of that vetiver which is surprising however I did get that sweet powdery tonka bean I did get like a musky quality it's just beautiful I find that on my skin it did lean a little bit more on the feminine side but I feel like it's just my body chemistry I think that my body just really projected that coconut that sandalwood along with that musk the incense and some of that tonka bean this is the most surprising fragrance in the whole launch because I did not expect to like this scent as much as I do you better believe I'm gonna purchase a bottle of this because this is amazing it's amazing the other thing I really enjoyed about away is the story and the fact that he named that fragrance after the Odyssey like I love that and I love books so that really just hit home for me so the fact that that smells so amazing and it has a really nice story behind it. So the next scent that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is Emblaze and I was able to wear Emblaze last night to bed and you guys I love the fact that Steven said that this fragrance was his illumination fragrance but this scent also was surprising however I do find that this scent leans a little bit more masculine. So if you're an individual who enjoys more masculine scents but still unisex you will really enjoy this fragrance. I like this scent however this is a fragrance that I really wouldn't reach for as often in my collection. This is a deeper fragrance as well. I would say that this scent is more of a date night scent or it could be like a fall winter scent if you have those type of categories. Away to me can be a signature scent depending on where you live and depending on what you look for in a fragrance but in Blaze is a bit more deep it's a bit more sensual it's a bit more sexy dare I say and in the opening you get some spice that's what I get the most I get some spice I get that nutmeg I get that pink pepper and then you also get a note of coffee I do get the coffee towards the end of the opening like once it's starting to dry down and go to the mid I do get that warmth and in the mid what I get the most is cinnamon. I get cinnamon, I get that lab denim, so I really enjoy that combination. I believe this also has a note of leather, but I don't smell leather at all, especially on my skin. However, in the base, I get a ton of cedar wood with a little bit of musk. I know this has other notes in the base as well, but that's what I get the most of. And cedar wood does lean a little bit more masculine on my skin, so I find that this is a little bit more masculine to me because of that cedar in the base. I love the story behind this one as well, and I think that a a lot of people will really enjoy the scent especially since we're getting into the cooler months all right so last but not least we have Imperial this scent right here is a gourmand lover's dream if you love gourmands you are going to love 
Imperial. This to me is a gourmand that is truly unisex. The opening is a little bit masculine in my opinion. However, some of the notes that are listed in the opening are plum and orange. For me, plum, it can go two ways. It can go kind of green, underripe, or it can go really juicy, really ripe, slightly even overripe. Those are the type of plums that I have in my collection. This plum to me is kind of right in the middle. It's not green, but it's not overly ripe, too sticky sweet. And maybe that's because the orange is cutting through that sweetness of the plum. But I think what really starts to come up when the opening happens is the suede that's in the mid. You get suede, you get some cocoa, and this also has a bit of a powdery touch as well, maybe from that cocoa, but I'm almost certain it's from that tonka that's in this. And then in the base, you get some vetiver and some guyac wood. So for me personally, vetiver does lean a little bit more masculine, but also guyac wood can kind of give you that masculine vibe as well. But this scent on the body, oh my gosh, I wore this to bed along with Emblaze, and I had Emblaze on one side and I had Imperial on the other. And when I tell you I could not stop smelling my Imperial side, it's just so delicious and decadent. On paper, it smells a lot more masculine than it does on the skin. On the skin, it really warms up. I get a ton of that cocoa, I get a ton of that tonka. I do get that plum with that orange in the opening and it's kind of cut with the woody notes, so it's not overly sweet or overly feminine. I find that this scent is extremely unisex and depending on your body chemistry, it can go a little bit more sweet or it can go a little bit more woody, so I like that versatility that's in this fragrance, this scent is gonna be in my collection one way or another. I love the fact that he spelled it with an E and he defined the Imperial with an E to be heavenly. He wanted this to be his heavenly scent. And I agree 100%, Steven, you did your thing with this fragrance here. You guys did amazing. I'm just so blown away with how beautiful that this scent smells. I don't have many chocolate fragrances in my collection, but this definitely is stunning and I think I might be on a chocolate kick now because of you. <laughs> so if I had to rate these fragrances from my least favorite to my favorite, the number three spot would be in Blaze. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's just not my type of fragrance. However, spots two and one are going to be so difficult for me to choose because they're beautiful. They're very beautiful, but I'm going to give the number two spot to away just because the opening is a bit masculine and it is a little bit more on the fresher side in the opening but I love that coconut in the fragrance like I'm gonna get this fragrance in my collection one way or another and number one is gonna be Imperial because I love gourmands if you have watched me before or if you don't know hi I'm Jeanne but I love gourmand fragrances I love smelling like a delicious treat and for me it just kind of gives me cozy vibes especially in the evenings or during this fall winter time so I really enjoyed this launch these fragrances are amazing. The bottles are so beautiful and the fragrances themselves smell incredible. Thank you again, Steven, for allowing me to be on your channel. I'm so grateful. And if you guys want to check me out, you can search Jeanne Antoinette here on YouTube. I will pop up. I love unisex fragrances. I love gourmands, but I also have some feminine fragrances as well. So if you are interested in that content, go ahead and check me out. I would love to have you over on my channel. Thank you guys again. And hopefully I will see you all soon.